The LPC 5500, I think, is very exciting because it opens the door to new opportunities that we didn't have before. I think a very interesting trade-off that we had to figure out is how do we get, you know, the most efficient and still get highest possible performance, right? We don't want to leave either of those on the side. And it was a very interesting challenge to try and figure out how do we, you know, improve this uh, performance and still reduce the power significantly. And I think we've been able to achieve a lot of both. We have an onboard uh, DC-DC converter, which allows us to significantly reduce the, the current drain from the outside or the power consumption, and also means you don't need to put a separate uh, PMIC outside, a regulator chip. So for 32 microamps per megahertz, you get 360 core marks of performance. So with three milliamps of run current, you get two cores running at 100 megahertz performance and we're looking to extend that to 150 and maybe beyond that over time. There's no other microcontroller in the market that can deliver this amount of performance at such low power. It's a combination of the two and so we're calling it our high, high efficiency microcontroller series and we're really excited to see the applications that can be brought to market. This is a pretty competitive uh, device when you throw in the fact that it's got some very, uh, uh, I'd say, competitive security features. Uh, Trust Zone is going to be enabled in this device. Uh, it's got uh, puff security mechanisms built in. Th these are things that really, uh, the, you know, the combination of, of security, performance, and, and low power. I, it's the first time I've seen something that has, has all this kind of bundled very nicely into a into a device. So, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. It's also got some very good. Uh, tool support. Um, yeah, it's got full IDE support. Uh, of course, it's got uh, configuration tools that allow a developer to uh, configure it, both the security aspects of it, as well as the peripherals. First time I've seen something with this amount of technology wrapped around it.